So I like to bring up this line once in a while to let people know that it is not dead because sometimes it tends to go a little dormant and we're talking about action toys and their machine robo line. For people that don't know, the Action Toys Machine Robo line is a masterpiece level version of the beloved Machine Robo franchise. For people who don't know what that was, Machine Robo is the molds that the Challenge of the GoBots and the GoBots line pulled from, pretty much what Tonka pulled from way back in the day when it was Poppy and Bandai that owned the rights to those molds. Today we have Action Toys and literally today, on their Facebook page. It was uploaded around 2 a.m. in the morning on that side of the globe. <laughs> and we got to see their latest pre-order and release that's going to be coming out. And it's that of Buggy Robo. And that is hype. Especially for people who really know their Machine Robo slash GoBot lore. So who is Buggy Robo. So we'll jump into that quickly and then we'll talk about this product here. So Buggy Robo, which was sometimes called Buggy Man, he was called Buggy Man specifically in the Challenge of the GoBots cartoon, as well as the Tonka toy line itself. And much like his MR12 Japanese Machine Robo counterpart that was released in 1982, it came out initially in blue and it was the same thing over here, and then they did a running change that later was painted orange, and chances are any kid back in the day that had GoBots usually had one of these guys because he was pretty plentiful out there. Um, in the show itself, he was also just blue. He didn't really have the orange color scheme. He was part of the bad guys, the renegades, and they sometimes even gave him that nickname, The Buggy Man, which was kind of like a play on The Boogeyman. So he was this kind of like, you know, freaky, bad guy kind of dude, pretty much. Again, as, as interesting as the Renegades could have been from the Challenge of the GoBots cartoon. I always suggest people go watch Machine Robo. You want to enjoy your GoBots? That's the better uh, fiction to go into. Uh, Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos, the anime. There's even official translated DVDs out there of it. Some good stuff. That being said... Uh, fictionally, this version of the character in the West would reappear years later uh, with fun publication. They would have a cool text story that was written by my buddy Hydra, as well as art from the super talented Hayato Sakamoto. And I'm pretty sure you've heard that name many a time here on the podcast. Uh, he's the guy who did all the Transformers Legends manga and art and stuff, and we still talk about him to this day. Sakamoto is an awesome human being and an awesome, talented dude. In this version that Sakamoto and Hydra did, uh, Buggy Man uses the red prototype colors of 1985 Beachcomber, the Minibot. Uh, for people that aren't familiar with that, there was this old, like, I guess it was like a press release of some of the G1 Transformers, and you could see some of the Minibots in prototype colors, and one of them was a G1 Beachcomber, but done in a red and gray kind of color scheme. And so much like a lot of the other GoBots that were using G1 Minibot molds at the time, he uses the Beachcomber prototype red colored one. And then Sakamoto a year later would use that exact same design and color scheme for when he was working on the Transformers Creo manga. And he would make a little cameo in the background there too to keep the GoBot lore going alive. So that's pretty much a little backstory on who that character is for people that aren't familiar with it. Because it, while, you know, now... GoBots are kind of like a cousin series to Transformers. Um, they really are still kind of not Transformers, so sometimes I have to bring up what's going on in their lore when we talk about them here on the podcast. So with that backstory aside, so here we have the new product here. Action Toys is giving us Machine Robo 12 Buggy Robo in his fantastic blue Dune Buggy um, color scheme and design. Looks really good. He comes with this little cannon that he originally didn't have on the toy, and I don't believe Buggy Robo in the show had the cannon, although maybe I missed it. Um, he's one of those characters that for the longest time people thought it was the toy representation of a character called Bug in Machine Robo, but that's actually a separate character. It's a long story. Long story short, though, ultimately in the end, he does come with this cannon. Looks really cool, along with the trademark action toys like Stand Platform that all of these releases come with, which are, by the way, a great thing because if you buy this figure and you get that stand... Even if you don't like the figure, you end up with a gorgeous stand that's used for posing and photography with all your other toys. So, nice little bonus that it comes with there. 
According to their website right now and their Facebook page, the figure is going to be selling for 200 Hong Kong dollars, which uh, Big Bad Toy Store, they've just uploaded two hours ago the pre-orders for this too, which they have it at $39.99. So let's say 40 bucks pretty much for a masterpiece kind of like version of these GoBot characters. The planned release date is late in the first quarter of 2021, so you won't be waiting too soon after pre-orders. And just to reiterate, at the same time, the pre-orders are still up also for Tough Trailer, another Machine Robo character, uh, Machine Robo 11 Blue Jet, which was known as uh, the GoBots Renegade Fighter, and Machine Robo 25 Eagle Robo, aka the GoBots Guardian Good Guy Leader himself, Leader One. So check those out too. Pre-orders are all over the place right now. I'm just mentioning BBTS because they're the first ones that I saw that had some kind of a price point for the Western market. But this is great news. Again, it shows that this Action Toys Machine Robo line is still alive and kicking. There still is a demand for it, and that makes me very happy because I love this line. Incredible line, awesome stuff. Check it out.